to recap our claims, um, or me and my partner's claims, um, there are, um, there are white, abortion, uh, white abortions happen um, after, the, after the first trimester and addressing the medical risks um, of late-term abortions and finally um, cost coverage. So first, let's start with um, why abortions happen after the first trimester. So according to Diana Green Foster, who, has, who is a professor in the Department of Obstetrics um, Gynecology and Reproductive Sciences, she states that 94% of later abortion patients and 80% of first trimester patients reported something to slow them down with um, getting the abortion. Um, she, continue, she continues to say that um, not that um, <coughs> She continues to state that um, it's not with these things slowing them down are is not recognizing the per, not recognizing the pregnancy trouble the setting um, the setting about abortion disagreeing with the men involved and finding a, finding and getting to a facility costs and um, insurance coverage so the, so these are the things that not that not only slow down the slow, slow down the abortion process. Pro, um, process, it just shows that there's other um, factors in the personal lives that um, affect the decision of the mother getting an abortion. And um, on, tu on Tuesday, as like, on Tuesday, um, the Republican control, um, on Tuesday, as, as most of you know, Alabama has, pa has passed um, a law about um, the restrictions of, on abortion. Um, according to Chris uh, Silza, who's a CNN politi politics reporter, um, on Tuesday, the Republican-controlled Alabama state legislature passed a measure that would ban abortion with an exception, um, with an exception of the life of the mother in, in jeopardy, and in, um, in all circumstances. So, so when so recapping back, so going back to women not recognizing the pregnant pregnancy earlier with Alabama with Alabama state um, ban banning um, all types of abortion unless it's in jeopardy of the mother most women don't find out they're pregnant until like about six weeks and with this with this um, bill it's when it, with this bill um, and law, with this law it's um it's banning all types of abortion after six weeks. And that's, it doesn't give them much of a time frame to, um, um, to decide whether or not to have an abortion. Next, we're gonna be addressing uh, medical risks of late-term abortions. <coughs> so according to um, Suzanne, Suzanne Zane, she states between, uh, who is a, excuse me, uh, who's a senior uh, maternal and child health um, epidemiologist, uh, for the Oregon Health Authority, um, she states um, between for, between 1998 and 2010, among prox approximately 16.1 million abortion procedures um, in the United States, where there were a, there were 108 legal induced abortion related um, deaths, yielding um, an abortion rate a mo um, morality rate of 0.7 deaths per thousand legal induced abortion uh, abortion procedures. So it doesn't seem like a lot. It's not, it's not, there's not a big risk with come with um, late term abortions. Um, um, and to counteract this, um, according to Elizabeth G. Raymond, uh, completing um, who completed a, a, re a residency in um, in obstetrics and gynecology and who has a master's in public health stated um, the pregnancy associated, <coughs> associated morality rate among women to, um, known to have delivered live um, births in the U.S. was about 8.8 deaths per 100,000 live births. So as you can, so as you can see, there's a lot, there's, um, live births are, are a little bit more um, dangerous than, than um, late term abortions themselves. And um, and with the medical risks that our opponents stated, 
Um, and to recap on that, um, there's no author credited to this, but American Pregnant, uh, Pregnancy um, Association.org says that with the medical risks that come with this are heavy or persistent bleeding, infection uh, or sepsis, damage to the cervix, scarring of the uterine lining, perforation of the uterus, and damage to the um, other organs or death. But what they failed to mention is that, um, what, what they failed to mention is, we're, we're setting back to American Pregnancy um, Association, is that it is important to understand these risks are rare and, the, and some of these risks are associated with childbirth. So not so these don't only so these risks don't only come with abortion, they also come with, with giving birth. So um, either way you have both of yeah, um, both of these risks um, giving a uh, giving birth or having an abortion. And to um, re, and to restate that um, uh, abortion does not have that great of a doesn't have that great of a medical risk. According to Ushma Abadaya, who is an associate professor of, um, of OBGYN and in reproductive sciences, she states that the complication rate of the second um, trimester or later procedures is lower, uh, is lower um, um, than other studies.